Hello students, welcome to Price Your YouTube channel. This is scholarship exam standard fifth online class, subject mathematics and the topic is calendar. इस इस वीडियो में हम लेक्चर और कुछ उसके बाद हम एग्जाम्पल्स भी कवर करेंगे तो कैलेंडर मतलब क्या है तो इस टॉपिक में हम डेज डेज ऑफ द वीक्स मंथ्स डेज ऑफ द मंथ्स उसके बाद ईयर मंथ्स ऑफ द ईयर और उसके बाद वीकली डेज ओके ये देखेंगे और लिप ईयर भी यहाँ पे देखेंगे तो डेज ऑफ द वीक कितने हैं तो यहाँ पे टोटल डेज सेवन है ओके सेवन डेज इन अ वीक देन ट्वेल्व मंथ्स इन अ ईयर ये आप सबको पता होगा मगर फिर भी आपको ये रिवाइज करना बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है ओके okay? उसके बाद है नंबर ऑफ डेज इन मंथ्स ओके सो देर आर द थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ द डेज इन अ मंथ मीन्स थर्टी वन डेज देन सम मंथ्स हैव द थर्टी डेज एंड सम मंथ हैव ट्वेंटी एट डेज और ट्वेंटी नाइन डेज दैट इज अ स्पेशली ट्वेंटी एट एंड ट्वेंटी नाइन इन ओनली मोस्टली इन ओनली इन फेब्रुवरी मंथ्स बट दैट इज अ कंडीशन इन फेब्रुवरी मंथ्स वेन द ट्वेंटी एट डेज आर देर एंड वेन देर इज अ ट्वेंटी नाइन डेज आर देर वेन द ईयर ओके द ईयर इज अ लीप ईयर देन फेब्रुवरी मंथ हैज ट्वेंटी नाइन डेज and if it is not a leap year then that is a 28 days okay how do identify this leap year it's very simple so the year has to be divided by 4 and if that divisibility is uh, or we can say the division is completed by the 4 uh, with the remainder 0 then that year is a leap year but the condition is there only the century means the year having the last two digit means unit place and the tens place should be if there is a zero zero okay so like this one suppose 1900 now this is this can be divisible by 4 but in this condition there should be the divisibility by 400 and if that is getting the divisible by 400 then that is a we can say leap year but 1900 is not a leap year okay is not a leap year because it cannot be divisible by 400 okay so after this one means this is only the century because there is a zero zero at the tens place and the units place okay so 1600 this year is a leap year but 1700 then 1800 is not a leap year okay so this condition is very important and this one also very important to identify the leap year now the months Having the thirty-five, thirty-one uh, days, uh, the months are the January, then March, May, July, August, then October and December. These are the total seven months having the thirty-one days in their months, and the four months, April, June, September. and november so these are the four months having the 30 days okay so always be remember here 31 days and 30 days okay so 29 days for the leap year 28 days for, uh, for the non leap year so then days occurring five times in a month five times in a month means suppose here this calendar is here july 20 2021 now how many times this thursday is occur in this month so this is 1 2 3 4 and 5 so five times occur friday also 1 2 3 4 and 5 times occur like this one saturday also occurring five times then in this month we are saying this three days are occurring five times in this month okay because this month have the total 31 days See, if suppose there is a only twenty one days in a month, especially in February. Okay, in that one, no any day have the five times. Only the four times day occur. Okay, so that is a here mentioned in a table days occurring five times in a month. So total days of the month. Suppose there is a twenty eight days. The, then days occurring five times. We can say that there is no any day occurring five times. Only the four times all the days are occur because twenty eight days and twenty eight divided by seven there is a four. Okay, so four weeks are there total complete weeks. Then if there is a twenty nine days in February, then one day is occurring five times. If any month have the thirty day, so that first and the second day occurring. the five terms means first date of the month and second date of the month for this one whatever the days are there that days can be occur five times okay means now here if you see in august now here 31st okay so here 1 2 and 3 so first second and fourth these 
three days uh, dates are there and for these dates the sunday monday and tuesday these are the three days are there and which are occurring five times if there is a only 30 then only first date and the second date of the month whatever the days are respective for these dates that day can be re repeated five times in that month so here the same chart is given for 31st also 31st days are in month's first day second day and third day of that month occur five times okay so now important days has to remember very carefully balika din on third of january then marathi bhasha din 27th day of the february then maharashtra din 1st of may then teachers day 5th september then christmas 25th december republic day 26th january science day 20th 28th february then uh, independence day 15th august then children's day 14th november death anniversary of lokmanya tilak 1st of august day of 1st january occur 53 times in a year but in a leap year days of 1st and 2nd january occurs 53 times okay so this is very important because of this leap year okay in a leap year 366 days are there okay and non leap year means uh, other than the leap year 365 days are there okay and if you divide this 366 by 7 means weekly days so there are the two days are balanced after completion of the weeks okay there are the total 52 weeks and two days okay likewise here 365 divided by 7 means here 5 and 1 balance so 2 means 52 and after this one 1 is remainder so here one day is balanced so that's why if any day occur on the first january that day suppose here on the first of the january there is a sunday on a next year means without uh, or we can say non uh, leap year so in the next year that one day is occurring means that will be on a monday the first january date will be con comes on a monday if there is a leap year so two days has to added in a sunday means monday and that will become on a tuesday okay so that is the calculation so always we remember these days now here 28 days 20 uh, 21 28 days in a february sometimes 29 days so here one day is balanced because 28 can be divisible by 4 so if there is a 29 days in a february so one day is balanced after dividing by the 7 means the date of the february and the march okay so that day if you are calculating so that for this one the next day or we can say additions of the one day we have to add for the 30th the divided by 7 so there is a two day balance means always be added the two for the 31st divided by seven so there is a three day are the added okay so this is the for the calculation purpose for the sunday to saturday now we are going to see some examples so now question number one from the following which month has 31 days as we know june september and february these are not having the 31 days uh, june have the 30 days september has the 30 days february 28 or 29 but december have the 31 days so option number four is correct now question number two which of the following is not a leap year now here 2002 cannot be divisible by four 2008 can be divisible by eight yes by four yes then 2016 can be divisible by four so this is a leap year 2012 it can be divisible by four so this is also the leap year so 2002 means option number one is not a leap year so this option is correct one now question number three what will be the age of Ahmad on 1st of february 2017 if he was born on 1st of february 2003 so month and the date are same means his birth date on uh, 2017 on that birth day what is his age that we have to count so for this one 2017 minus 2003 or we can say 17 minus 3 so 17 minus 3 it's a 14 so that is a 
14 years old so means option number 2 is correct one now question number 4 if 5th june on wednesday then on which date next wednesday will occur so 5th plus 7 because the uh, week have the 7 days so 5th plus 7 means that's the 12th so on the 12th june the wednesday will occur 12th means option number 1 is a correct one question number 5 a school picnic was from 5th december to 10th december for how many days was the picnic now from 5th december is mentioned means this day also we have to count means 10th december also there and 5th december also there so if you count 5th 6 7 8 9 and 10 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 so total 6 days or in another way if you can cannot count the if there is a more period is mentioned then 5 minus 1 we have to do or 10 minus 5 and then 1 we have to add it in a answer okay so 5 minus 1 is a 4 so 10 minus 4 the 6 is there or 10 minus 5 is a 5 and then this fifth also we have to count so that's why we have to add it one so 5 plus 1 is the 6 these are the two ways we have to count then the 6 is mentioned in option number 2 now question number 6 yesterday that means the wednesday was salma's birthday what will be the day tomorrow so this is the about talking about the yesterday so yesterday was the wednesday means today is a thursday and tomorrow is the friday so friday means option number 3 is correct one now question number 7 if 4th june is sunday then which day occur five times in that month so june having the 30 days means there is a 30 means 38 30 minus 28 means two days are can be occur on five times now two days means first of the june and second of the june having the day that day can be occur five times now fourth june is a sunday means on a third of the june that is a saturday second of the june that is a friday and first of the june that is a thursday so means five times occur which of the day so thursday and the friday so this two day can be occur five times in that month and these are given in option number 4 now question number 8 if the independence day is on wednesday on which day the teachers day will be now as we know the independence day means 15th of august okay 15th of august and then teachers day on a 5th of september okay september so now on a independence day there is a wednesday so from 15th of august to the 31st of august 31st of the august how many days are there so there are the total 31 minus 15 means the, there are the total 16 days and this 5 means 16 plus 5 so there is a 21 so 21 divided by 7 so that is a 7 threes a 21 and after this deduction zero means the three weeks are completed means there is no day is balance so means this wednesday is occurring on same this 5th of september also okay so wednesday means option number 3 is correct one now question number 9 if samir took 10 days leave from 30, 17th of march on which day he will resume the duty now 17th of march is a leave starting days means 17th also has to consider so means this is the first day okay so means back day is the 16th of march was the last day before the leaving so 16 plus 10 so that is the 26th okay and 26 is the last day of the leave so next day of the 26 means 27th day is 27th of the march is the is resuming day means option number 2 is the correct one or we can say we can directly add 17th plus this 10 so that is a 727th so that is a his resume day so in that when also directly this 17 also has to consider okay means the resuming day also question number 9 option number 2 is the correct one now question number 10 if 2nd march 1996 was sunday on which day will be 2nd march 1997 means the 2nd march on 1996 now this is the leap year but already the february was 
uh, of the 1996 was gone so we have to consider up to the 1997 means 1997 of the february is the 28 days because this is not a leap year so now means difference between this one is the 365 so if we divided by with the seven there is a one in a remainder okay means on a sunday if there is a second of march means after the sunday we have to add the one day means sunday and the next one day means the monday is there so on a 22nd march 1997 is the monday so monday is given in option number one question number 11 on which day roger's 25th birthday will be if he his birth was 3rd of june 1984 so we have to simply add the 1984 plus 25 so this is the 9 and then this is the 0 plus 1 this is the 2009 so 2009 on this year his 25th birthday will be celebrated so this is given in option number 4 now question number 12 if 7th april is thursday which day is on 15th of august so from the april to august we have to count all the days so i will note down the in separately so 17th of april is mentioned means 30 minus 7 because 30 is a total day of the april so that is a total 23 days are there then in a may month that is a completed means 31 as it is we have to count then after the may there is a june june having the 30 days then after the june july is there so july have 31 days and after the july there is a august so august is mentioned up to the 20, uh, 15th of august means 15 days we have to add it so here if you add all this one you will get the total 130 and then after this one 130 we have to divide it with with a 7 because we have the 7 days so if we divide it with a 7 so here the 7 ones are 7 then this is a balance 6 and then 0 bring means 60 so 7 eights are 56 so there is a 4 days are we have balance means four day we have to shift it one so means if here thursday means after the thursday first is the friday second is the saturday then third is the sunday and fourth is the on monday so monday is given in option number 2 now question number 13 which of the following day is correct so now question option number 1 31st april 1996 april doesn't have 31st day so this is a incorrect now so option number 2 31st of september 1994 so september have the 30 days but here mentioning 31st so this is a incorrect now option number 3 29th february 1900 1900 is not a leap year so 29 should not be day in a february so this is also incorrect now option number 4 29 february 1992 yes 1992 is a leap year if we divided by 4 it can be complete get the division with a zero remainder so this february month have the 29 so this day is a can be actual means this is the correct options so option number 4 now question number 14 vacation for rajendra school started from 5th may so means this is the first day of the vacation and open on 12th june so 12th june is not a vacation so 11th is the last day of the vacation because 12th 12th june is the opening day okay now for how many days he had a vacation so from the 5th may so we will count in a separately so from 5th may to 31st of may so 31 minus 4 we have to do okay so there are the total 27 because 5th may also in vacation so that's why 31 minus 4 means previous day we have to do then after the may there is a june 
ट्वेल्थ ओके सो मीन्स देन जून वी हैव टू काउंट इलेवन डेज ओके बिकॉज ट्वेल्थ जून इज द ओपनिंग डे सो ट्वेंटी सेवन्थ प्लस दिस इलेवन देर इज अ थर्टी एट सो देर आर द टोटल थर्टी एट डेज वैकेशन एंड दिस इज अ गिवन इन ऑप्शन नंबर थ्री नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टीन इन टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन कुसुम परचेज टू लीटर्स ऑफ मिल्क एवरी डे फ्रॉम बाली का दिन टू वुमेन्स डे हाउ मेनी लीटर्स ऑफ मिल्क सी परचेज इन ऑल नाउ बाली का दिन मीन्स थर्ड ऑफ जनवरी ओके जनवरी एंड वुमेन्स डे इज अ एट्थ ऑफ मार्च नाउ हाउ मेनी डेज आर देर दैट वी हैव टू काउंट सो थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ जैन माइनस स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम दिस बाली का दिन मीन्स वी हैव टू सब्ट्रैक्टेड टू डेज मीन्स सेकेंड ऑफ जनवरी सो देर इज अ थर्टी वन माइनस टू मीन्स ट्वेंटी नाइन देन फेब्रुवरी मंथ इज कम्प्लीटली वी हैव टू डू नाउ टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन इज नॉट अ लीप इयर मीन्स फेब्रुवरी अप टू ट्वेंटी एट डेज वी हैव टू काउंट ओके देन इन एट डेज ऑफ द फेब्रुवरी मार्च सॉरी सो एट ऑफ द मार्च हैज परचेज द मिल्स सो एट डेज ऑफ द मार्च ट्वेंटी एट डेज ऑफ द फेब्रुवरी एंड ट्वेंटी नाइन डेज ऑफ द जनवरी दैट हैज टू कैलकुलेटेड सो आफ्टर गेटिंग द कम्प्लीट एडिशन टेर आर द टोटल सिक्सटी फाइव डेज एंड ईच डे टू लीटर्स आर परचेज सो मल्टीप्लाई बाय टू सो सिक्सटी फाइव मल्टीप्लाई बाय टू इज अ वन थर्टी सो दिस इज द लीटर क्वांटिटी सो दिस इज अ लीटर सो वन थर्टी लीटर इज गिवन इन ऑप्शन नंबर वन थैंक यू